What's up, lads and ladettes? How are we all doing today? I hope you guys are doing fantastically well. Easter Mayhem is upon us, lads and ladettes. Easter Mayhem is upon us. It'll be starting in about five days. And uh, it's it's going to go for about 20 days. So from March 30th to April 19th. So around about 20 days. And I am I am I am thoroughly looking forward to it. It's going to be fun, and it's going to be hopefully one that I can really dial into and knuckle down and do. Of course, I'm going to be live streaming uh, my time in the event across the uh, 20 days. Obviously, not every single day, but whenever I do, I will be streaming, and then that of course will be uploaded to YouTube and all that good stuff. So let's have a look at this, right? So. We're gonna get the uh, we're gonna we're gonna be facing robots and stuff like this. This this is a little bit of how to get into the event for those of you that don't know if this is the first mayhem that you're actually getting into. You get into there via the event list, the global event list, and it's as simple as that, ladies and gentlemen. Now, when you enter into a annihilation thing, right, you're gonna be given a choice of missions okay you're going to give, be given the choice of bronze silver gold or regulite these are point based missions and the more points you get the higher in the stages you get and you get rewards okay now the bronze mission is the mo is the stock standard basic sort of easiest one to do you got to get uh, in order to complete the whole chain you need to uh, get 7000 points and for to increase each stage you need to get 700 points so you know 700 points and another 700 and that's kind of the way things go and you're going to get a blend of things right the main thing you're going to be getting across the entire like the uh consistently across everything is the mayhem tokens and your universal ammunition so completing the bronze mission will net you about what is that 109 ped worth of universal ammunition could help offset some costs um it's not a lot but you know it's 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 a, it's, it's something. It's something. And of course, you're going to get the mayhem tokens that you can use to get pills or if you're saving up to get a weapon or something like that, hoping that you get one of those uh, rare mayhem tokens, then here's hoping that you actually get it. The rare mayhem tokens um, you know, are, as I say, rare, and that's essentially what you'll need to purchase uh, weapons and certain things from uh, the mayhem token trader okay so you got the stock standard bronze which goes for up to 7,000 points then you have uh, a seven like the max of 17,000 points with the silver then you have 50,000 points with the gold there's a big jump here massive jump right so from 7,000 points to 17,000 points right it's about three times okay but they're, they're going from 17 to 50 is is a, is a pretty big jump. I think it's the same thing three times, but it is still a, a pretty drastic kind of jump. Pretty drastic jump. Uh, but if you're going to be doing, if you you know, if you're going to be doing it, you might as well uh, go the full hog. Um, if you're if you're a high enough level and you're able to breeze through things in like category uh, seven and up pretty easily then obviously i'd recommend going with the gold mission it also depends on how much time you have and all that jazz it really does depend on time uh me i'm not sure what i'm going to be going with i'm probably going to be going more uh probably the bronze route um just because i don't have enough to to get into silver or gold i don't have enough stuff saved up um hopefully that will be uh different come uh the later mayhems in the year but then you have the regulite where you need to have a hundred thousand points to finish the regulite now the regulite is going to be an interesting one i think a lot of people that get into regulite are going to have supreme difficulty finishing it but for those of you that are getting it going to go into the regulite mission i bid you good luck um so beyond the annihilation mission we also have the defense gameplay which is basically you need to defend a data interceptor that's pretty much it. So, uh, just like any wave spawning events, they're going to spawn uh, robots. Increasingly dangerous waves of robots. Okay, so uh, for as many stages as you can, and the more stages that you get, right? The, the more stages that you do, the uh, better the rewards. So, the first stage, you're going to get like one Mayhem token, 60 PEC, 
of universal ammunition, a strong box, and an Easter egg, right? But if you somehow make it to uh, stage 20, 350 Mayhem tokens, 35 PD universal ammunition, 30 PC of agility skill, and Warlock back spikes. So I think, uh, I think uh, once people have finished whatever mission, they're going to try to go real hard with the uh, defensive stuff. But... You know, as, as with everything, it's going to take uh, time, it's going to take PED, and all that sort of stuff. But that's pretty much it in a nutshell, guys. Uh, we're going to be seeing the event in like five days. I'll be live streaming whenever I do it. Uh, I'm definitely going to be doing the Annihilation and trying to complete the Bronze mission. Because uh, I'm not going to go into the Silver. I'm going to complete the Bronze. Just so I can like at least get like maybe the Harb like get the Harbinger marks, masks and things like that. And then after that, I might try the defensive, uh, the defense one, the Mayhem defense. But what is my plan going into Mayhem this year, the, the Easter Mayhem? Well, we know that I'm going down uh, a lot of the Mind Force routes, uh, Mind Force power route. Uh, but because of, uh, because of my current level, I don't really, ha I'm not putting out enough damage in my opinion to just go down the mind force route so i will probably be picking up some uh i will probably be picking up some rifles probably going to be getting myself a couple of the uh the bc probably bc 20s is probably what i'm going to be going with or, or 25s basically whatever i can afford i'm going to get so i'm going to be getting a few of those and hopefully just rocking that out for a while and we're going to be blending that with the arsenic chip uh, because damage over time increase our DPS. It should be it should be pretty pretty sweet. So that's essentially what we're going to be going with damage wise. Defensive wise, I'm probably going to be using my ghost with these six A armor pl uh, plating because they are robots. They're gonna you know they're gonna pack a punch. So you know burn protection and penetration protection is definitely on the cards. But I'm going to be leaving it there for today, ladies and gentlemen. Not a lot of information to really, like, really needed to dump. Uh, just wanted to show you guys the uh, the annihilation information that I've got and all that good stuff. So you, leave me leave me a comment down below. Are you going to be doing the annihilation? Uh, are you are, are you going to be doing mayhem at all, or are you just going to sort of sit back and watch people lose their PED? Let me know. I'll be keen to hear. Anyway, guys. You'll stay safe, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.